Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Tiny Rogues, the massively updated action roguelite. We are going to be going back in on Cinder 16 against my better judgment because I'm curious. All right. I am morbidly curious if across all the changes on the beta branch, everything like that. Not that any of them have been to the Cinder modifiers, even though I do think there should have been some. Maybe we'll get some in the future. I just more mean the buffs to some of the worst items and perks and stuff like that. I'm curious if maybe it'll make the game experience better with Cinder 16 instead of worse when you turn on Cinder 16. We'll see. But Monk is who we're going to be playing today. Hits with body damage, grant a key charge. Dashing will consume them all to grant you key flow. You cannot gain key charge while you have key flow. Great. I'm going to have to go in to see what the hell you're talking about because it doesn't explain what they do. So one sec. We've got... Uh, key charge is a stackable buff that adds 5 to 10 damage to body damage. And 2% increased movement speed per stack stacking up to 10 times. So potentially up to 100 flat starter damage to body damage. It's interesting. Not a lot of body damage weapons, though. Uh, maybe the staff is. Key flow is a stackable buff. This is when we dash. That grants 20% more multiplied uh, attack speed per stack. Stacking stacks last one second, decaying one after another up to ten stacks. Okay, and you can't get key charges while you have key flow. So I almost, I don't know. I almost feel like, oh, this is not even body damage. So I'll tell you what, this might, this might be the win a run without attacking an enemy with a weapon run. Um, Thirty percent increased body attack speed. This also gives us three to our unarmed dexterity scaling. So our fists scale on dex while we wear this, and it gives us 45 to 105 unarmed damage. Cool. 30% uh, increased body damage. I mean, sure. Yeah, why not? So I guess uh, we'll probably try and... Oh, boy. Yeah, we already have the double enchantments. One of my biggest issues with the uh, Cinder 16 has been, and it's no surprise... The enchantment modifiers are a little bit awkward. Because, especially the fact that you're like, all of them have two. Oh yes, this cinder modifier. What do we get? After not attacking for one second, stock up a guaranteed crit with primary attacks up to a max of 10. That's actually legitimately very good. I am not going to complain about that. I think that that is very, very good for such a close range weapon. Tipsiness up. Ah, hello. I do not have dashes. Because of another cinder modifier. So, basically just have to wait and hope. Okay. God. It's just... Because, yeah, right now if I dash early on, it takes that long to get my dash back so you can see why i maybe am a little bit wary of spending my dashes oh baby so here's the thing if um and i do feel like this is the kind of thing that dev would be actively ag against but if it was the kind of game where for every cinder modifier on you got like slightly higher luck or something like that. I think that there could be there could be fun in it. I don't know. But boy, we'll see. Events. Oh god. What do you? I don't remember what any of them do. You have to be like. You're you're gonna you're gonna be the the Dex guy, right? What is your deal? Bonus super effective multiplier. It's not a big get. Meteor bone enchanted. Okay, the fists are kind of cracked, though. Love the punches. Keep in mind, we have 50% less damage done for the first eight seconds of the phase and the fight. So the fact that we did that much damage is actually kind of wild. The the fists are amazing. Uh, 
they probably will uh, scale out of being as good as they are. Grants plus 35 to 70 fire damage. I mean, we sure could. Out of this stuff, I take. Grants plus 35 to 70 fire damage. From what I've been told, this should just apply onto my weapon. My weapon being my fist. Do I want strength? Kinda, kinda not. Okay, yep, we definitely can apply burn with our fists, which is pretty fun. I gotta tell you, yeah, the, um... This perk, precision getting changed, it's so much better now. For, like, melee weapons. Adds intelligence scaling. To your punches. But it's such a... Precision's change makes it so good for melee builds. Close-range melee builds. I don't need a weapon. I got my uh, good old weapons right here. Good old one-two. I think we take a triple intelligence, right? 3% crit chance? I know that we have the guaranteed crit possibilities, but... I think we rock it anyway. Strength scaling. Like a bomb, but with more kaboom. Whew. We just want to be a little bit, um... We want to be patient with our attacks. This is so good. We want to make sure they're going to the right target. We might even want to make sh uh, sure we wait until our fox attacks for the first time to get rid of, like, their armor. You see right there? How you attacked them, you got rid of their armor. So we can one-shot them. It's helpful. Charge up. Just want to be patient. Just want to be patient. Good. What do we have here? Toxic and the web. Toxic, I don't... Or wait, no, not toxic. Uh, web, I don't feel to be quite as annoying, usually. Ah. Not bad. And evade. It's me! Uh, on dash, shoot out an apparition of yourself, attacking the nearest enemy, doing thrusting damage. I feel like we have to, even though an evade is good. As good as that stuff is, body damage is better. I'll look at the good shop. Hmm. Attuning the cube will solve it and improve your dexterity scaling, but only while we have it. Increase body attack. Where did this come from? Where did this come from? <laughs> I've never seen this before, and we get it on this run. Is it? Does it only show up for the monk? Cool. Hello, mister. Oh. God, there's too much happening here. It's just random BS go, you know? What else we got? Um, I already have that. Wait. Oh, wait, is this changed? The burn aura makes them take 20 to 65 fire damage. Well, we don't... Really care. I don't really care. I have seven freaking dice. On crit, inflict fatigue. Makes it so they take 50% increased damage. 
from your uh, your attacks. I think that sounds good. From your crits, rather. Dude. The black hole is so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uncommon weapons. I got everything I need right here. Gestures at hands. Bonk, bonk. It's not bad. This lets us get a little tipsy. I wouldn't mind some equip load. I definitely feel like my damage is, you know, falling off a little bit here, but I don't really have very much money. Dude. Kind of a bummer, I can't upgrade my fists. Makes sense, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, why can't I add a scope to my knuckles? But, why can't I add a scope to my knuckles, huh? Same deal, I probably can't do anything with resin. Yeah, be a giga chad. Just do it, just do it. Doubt we're changing our body armor. I, I'm not. Bleh. I've got very little. Toxic and plague. You got them both, huh? It's a lot happening here. None good. Not, not, not nice. Oh god, the dash takes so long to come back. Charge it up, charge up them crits, charge up them crits, get ready for the uppercut of a sentry. You gotta stop this dude so I can get in. Do you, are you get, do you... Of course he absorbed me into the poison! Of course he absorbed me into the poison the second I got close enough. Thanks a lot, Cinder Modifiers. <laughs> uh, I got up in there and then he went Whoop. okay uh, I think we have to take this regardless of dude this is super good but um, one extra companion slot is fantastic it's not that fantastic right now but it is fantastic in general. Awkward. I still to this day don't fully know what Prox Defense does. I'm assuming improved armor if you are not in it. I mean, are there even, like, other weapons that have body damage? Maybe. Bop, 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 bop. Melee weapon? I got him right here. Gesture's hands. Wait, can you- oh god. Freaking totems, man. Too much. Too much. 
going on in one room. It's... It's bad. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Um... Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it and probably sell it. Get the possessed weapons. I think that's one of the only um, Cinder modifiers that got changed in one way. This has potential. We have the guaranteed crits. Gain Berserk. Berserk makes it so we do... We get 20% more multiplied attack and movement speed for 8 seconds. I think it's good. I think it's really good. So we got that, you know, the guarantee if we wait for a smidgen. Guaranteed epic? I don't have a I don't have boots. I think I'd rather get guaranteed boots. Battery and shield enchanted. So he has got some kind of armor. Kind of got to just wait for a smidgen. Nice. Charge up my fists. Thank you, battery charge. Yep, yep. Thank you, battery charge. Yep. <sighs> yeah, be in there. Uh, okay. This is a melee thing, right? On dash gain combat prowess, 30% increased melee. It also overflows us. I'd like to go lawful. Thank you. I'd like to go Lothful, but I don't really want this stuff. Chill reduces their move speed. Um, there's something to that with, like, the... You do damage equal to how much... Extra damage equal to how much movement speed they have reduced. That plus fatigue. Like, there's kind of something there. But if I'm buying something, it's because I just want to get the lawful stack. There is definitely an argument for this being better. There's definitely an argument for it being better, but I'm mostly taking it for those extra charges. This is so mean. I do think I got to go for the, the dex, though, on that. What fun we're having. I am uh, poisoned. 
So I have the increased, uh, decreased movement speed. Can't get up there because there's a bunch of stuff on the floor. Just gotta wait. Cool. Couple bombs. Some money. Some bombs. I'll get a cursed burger. I only healed half of a heart, huh? Is that uh, is that the poison? Is that what poison does now? I can't remember. Just that your healing's worse. The black hole. Close to that. I mean, I'll uh, I'll take a look. Hmm. None of these do body damage, anyways. Which, you know. I feel like we we do as much as it is like a, I'm not trying to do necessarily trying to do a challenge run of the achievement, but this character seems to reward you for your lucky hits intimidates. I don't really care. Probably better than something we have. Maybe the, maybe the fox berries. I'll check a charm. Possessed weapon plague enchanted pharaoh. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. It's our time to shine. Gotta get the summons. Those summons are not going to be able to come back at the very least. Oh, God. There's just too much on the screen. All right. Thanks. A luck up, definitely not uh, against it. A revive up, unrevive, get revenants. 20% increased body damage. I mean, it's obviously something, but uh, a luck up is a really big deal. It's a really big deal. Bombs. We have plenty of bombs. Hello. Hello, sir. Really? I thought that I would have had iframes still. Okay. Couple enemies that we kind of just need to have come towards us. Man, life would be so much easier if I played with controller and used the auto-aim stuff. I saw someone else playing with it, and I was like, oh my god. But, like, now I'm too stubborn to swap. Zoop. I do see it. 
by the way. Don't want to accidentally attack with a weapon. Oh, we could have put the bomb actually in the middle. So maybe I just dropped the weapon just because. Okay. I'm I don't I'm afraid to use that. Okay, we're not attuned to that yet. Just drop all weaponry. Drop all freaking weaponry. So we're not attuned, so don't. The weapon attack range means nothing currently. Yes, also One Piece. I uh, just, I want to, uh, yes, I know. I do know. It's from the, th it's the thing from, it's the thing from the thing. It's very long range for a punch, which is very helpful. Kind of looking for lawful. I can't upgrade, I can't enchant my fist. Um... Well, I guess I don't care about... If I'm going lawful, I don't care about going getting evil. I mean, I think we have to take that. Uh, 40% increased damage to bosses. Feels like an improvement to me. Do we have enough strength for this yet? We do, indeed. I might regret this. I think that could actually... It could be better. I think this... Could be better to... Nah. Alright, we good? This is an offhand... Could get tipsy. We have four. I'm not going to drink these other ones. We'll keep them. And try and remember to use them. We should be pretty... Pretty solid now. You know, I'm not convinced that these are the best. Like, as much as I do appreciate them. I do love the dash explosion business. Get these guys out of the way. hi -o. I don't think it makes sense to... If we can hit, I don't think it makes sense to not attack. We sh When we get to our 10 charge, we should probably do the dash to get our multiplier. It's very good, I'm not going to lie. You know... Uh, so 40% damage increase all the time, which is better than the zombie arm already, for sure. This is interesting, though. 100% critical hit multiplier. What does more damage? This by a lot. Or, no. Not by a lot, because we get don't get quite as many. Um, I think I think we take this. It's just obviously better. 
Aww. Increased movement speed. Crit chance. I'm too lawful. I don't know if we're going to even be getting to the, the big boy boss at this rate. Okay. What is the hell is the happening? Okay. It's beautiful. Uh, block armor. Um, hmm. Knight armor plus tower shield is like an eventual. Eventual really good thing. That was sellable. I'm willing to drop this. No, don't. I don't want to use it. I would need a lot of strength. Like, I need so much. This is a hundred. I don't. That's stupid. No, I, I'm never going to be able to do that. Um, I don't like, I don't love the curse of it all. It's body damage. It's body damage and a lot of it. Steady strikes, I think, could be cool. Yeah, I'm just, I'm never getting this much strength. There is an argument for keeping this. Zombie armor is literally just a worse moonstone because moonstone is the same thing but all the time instead of just against bosses. This could one day be good. Or at the very least, could one day be worth it. Upgrade my punch. I don't think I. I don't think I can. Uh oh. I have so much money. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Already potentially worth it, that thing. My punch moves so freaking slow. Um. Oh, man. Yeah, like, I, I think I would take 20% increased damage. Uh, so a 10% increase penalty, so flat increase not percentage increase for one extra armor gain. I pro I think I would. And with that, I might look at offhands. Oh, bother. Um, why would Retromation think there's too many things happening on screen with Cinder 16? Whoa! I was just pushed? Why was I just pushed? Dude. 
just... Who's defending this? Who's defending this? And why? Man. Why? Why it be like that? Heart con per heart container, huh? That's actually... It's kind of interesting. Oh, that has zero equip load. Interesting. Interesting for heart container. We could play with that. I'll look. You can stack burn and bleed up to ten. At close range, mark the enemy with fighter mark. I'm gonna leave this on the ground so I don't accidentally do it, but I could I could see the other one. I don't know how much I'm gonna be at close range. Because my fist is actually now um like a screen wide attack. So I don't know how much I benefit from that, you know? Ooh, it's like a triple intelligence, sure. Will I wait for my precision to stack up? Whoa, that does not ever stop. Okay. This is maybe a suspect choice, but... Intelligence has to be pretty high. I understand Rick and Morty. Uh, just handle it, dogs. I mean, we. <sighs> Enemies take more damage equal to the reduction of their movement speed. It is a multiplier. It is a big deal. I do wish we got the uh, the Frost version of this instead then. We're looking for uh, something that applies chill. Because then we can do a big boy multiplicative. Uh, Blacksmith gives us... Oh, wait. Did I, have... did I get enough strength up, by the way? No. I never got strength up. Repair the armor... Save the world. That would be so hard. Uh, I'll take the flask instead. Would I want... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I'd want on dash trigger effects. Also, higher tier gloves could possibly. Oh, I hate battery on bosses. There's a couple. Uh, there's a couple boss fights where it just kind of ruins everything. Nice. Could that have hit me? Also, you can stack up precision in the middle of uh, the text now. Very intriguing.
Get him, goat. I think any confusion about if we would want to uh, increase our... Dude. If we'd want to have our dash increase, whatever. That sucked. The automatic dash procs. That's what I'm trying to say. If, if there's any question if I wanted that, I think that the um, goat makes it very clear that we would. Before, I think it'd be a hit or miss. Jesus. Looking for lawful. It's a freaking strength scaling, though. How dare you? Weird. It had to be strength scaling. I just... I have 34 decks, 5 strength. I can't. I could get an offhand or something. I could get an offhand. I could get uh, an accessory. Plus two to unarmed dex count. So that does seem to be based off of the quality of your gloves. I don't know. Don't really, don't really care about those. Uh, if I'm looking to get lawful with it. This is a way to. I want strength. Because I want to... Um? I want to be able to equip my armor. Without penalty. I freaking hate... Totem Enchant. Bombs. I don't have any keys for the intelligence anyways. Okay. Sir. Dang it, man. There we go. I feel like we have to look. Anything that do body damage? Surely. <laughs> it's so sad. It doesn't do body damage. I don't know. Is there. I feel like there maybe is like a book that does body damage. Or is it only punches? Because we've kind of sent it around it, and it hurts to not use it, but also, like... You know. You know it's going to hurt even more? Uh! Oh! That. I think I'm down with it. Um, I have so much money, you'd think there has to be something useful here.
What am I looking for? I mean, the dice... I guess is one thing. There you go. <sighs> Give me the dice guy. He gives me lawful as well. Need more strength? Not right now, but maybe soon. Oh, come on. I want a key. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um? Uh. What? Cursed Burger! Hey, I'm a fool! Yeah, the totem ones are just like a lot of screen clog. I think is part of it. Alright, wow me! No! No, I hate this. I'm using my potion. I hate this guy, and I hate both of these enchantments. So bad. I basically just have to... hang out for a bit. What's even going on there? The world may never know. Okay, we got the summon out of the way. Hey, hey, hey. What? What was that? What was that? That's gloves, dex, intelligence, strength. I hate you. Oh boy. And adds. So the thing is, it's the intelligence scaling is the issue. I'm more likely to want to put on these, but let, let's let's take a look. That's my base striking damage. Is that relevant? Is it be, be my body damage? Fifty-five to one hundred total striking, eight forty-two to seventeen eighty-one. But my attack speed goes down by thirty percent. Total damage scaling is plus 124%. It has much higher flats. Uh, it's so weird. I don't know then. Because I have like... My intelligence scaling is so low. 
I'll try and check what the crits are like here. 2,000, 3,000. Oh, God. Sir? I feel weaker. I definitely feel weaker, and my punches are noticeably slower. It might be, uh, made up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know that that's going to matter that much. With just all the decks that we're finding... Like, I don't know, man. Um? <laughs> um? Freaking um? Stop! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 30% more top end damage and do a striking. Wait. Uh, oh, non triggered lucky hits. I mean, barbarism is just frankly stupid, but blunt trauma is. It is a thing for our build that makes sense almost only for our build, so I want it. And I want it now. And it seems good. Big souls. Seems good. Where are you? Upgrade my fists. Coward. I know what I asked for. It's a good charm. Mm. Max 100 stacks? This is 10% damage and a heart container if I go for health. You know, there is a world where an accessory is better. I was hoping for like, or a uh, uh, summon is better. I was hoping for an accessory. But if I do this, then everything has to be. It's a little bit of a bleh. A little bit of a bleh. Airstrike, danger zone, death. Ah. Uh. What? Where is he? Hold on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh. I got the achievement. The no weapon achievement. So there's that. Oh my god, I could have a 50% increased flask drink speed. Yeah, none of, none of this is... Huh? 
worth even thinking about. I am pure lawful. We should be good to go to the Shadow Plains. But I, I already got the achievement. You only need to beat death without a weapon. So if a body damage weapon shows up now, we take it. I don't know how many exist. <gasps> We've been had. Got possessed weapons up in here. E. Sir. Oh, uh, gonna see the poison damage. I mean, it's it's keepable. Basically, after we dash, we don't want to care about our, our store up your 10 anymore. It just doesn't matter. Uh -oh. What the hell? Oh my god, that was just a very unfortunate timing of the... Love that guy. Love that guy. Very, 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 very fun. Um, none of that does anything. More bombs. I don't need more bombs right now. The attack speed is at least fun. If nothing else. I would love a chill resin, I guess. I don't know what I would freaking get for a set item, but I also, well, I think I could definitely improve my armor. Wah, 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 wah. Party enchanted, plague enchanted. We can't do the meme sit still thing here. Okay. The good news is uh, with corruption, the fight will last so long because of all of this extra stuff. We'll probably see max corruption stacks. Oh. Yeah, I can't cheese it that way. But also, I don't know if I need to. I think I'm gonna do a little something, something called. I'm gonna wait a sec. Oh wait, we have to kill all these guys, which is fine. But yeah, I'm gonna wait a sec to uh, get extra stacks of corruption on them. Is what I was gonna say. My wolves won't have it. 64. Okay, we're up to 10. Kill these fools. Well. Incoming, definitely not too much on the screen. Why would you ever assume that? Thank God I got out of the poison. That could have been guaranteed damage. Just charge. Charge up my crits. That could have actually been guaranteed damage. Let's 
Let me in! Why are you closed? This is too much. Jesus. <laughs> wow me. I... At this point, it'd be that. Well, I mean, if I could get that full set, I guess that's kind of interesting. But I just didn't anticipate we would. Honestly, please don't let me in. Don't let me in. I want to go. Curses. But yeah, I would not mind if I could find a um, a cold infusion. No, I can't use the infusion. Can I? I don't have a freaking weapon. Wait. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't apply to a weapon. That's good. Um. <laughs> ah! Ah! Very funny game. Ah! I'm gonna go crazy. Uh, do I have any trigger damage? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Trigger damage up. Grant the random potion. Honestly, probably better than just one thing. Um. <laughs> cool. Bag it up, 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 bag it up. Stop. <laughs> Why that? Why that? I'm so lucky I didn't teleport into a bone. For guaranteed damage. That could have been very annoying. Uh, equip load capacity doesn't matter right now. I don't think that I want to get rid of anything I have. I mean, like, there's an, uh, like, I don't know. There's a small chance that, like, this isn't worth two slots for what it's worth. Loving that AoE. Definitely helpful. Okay. Random potion or equipment. The potion is probably more likely to be useful. Oh, this is chaos. Anger potion, good. Companion damage is not bad, but again, if we can get the cold resin, we're straight chilling. Oh, I got excited. Makes weapons drain mana. I don't want that. I'm on floor eight. Okay. 
Thank you. There's no there's no enchantments in here. For the real guy. Alrighty. You do 10% more damage. Or we just get the extra dash. Blech. No, Prox defense. It hit me. Okay. Actually kind of a good little phase for me. I think I maybe just don't try and bother attacking here. Get our big old crits. <laughs> Don't mind me, Death. Ooh, we can also wait for the Prox's defense to go away. Sorry, you, you're going to play dirty. I'm going to play dirty, Death. That hit. That. That's a... Feels bad, man. Well. Oh, we got another one. Well. Oh, got it with the bombs? We'll see. Oh. Next. There we go. We beat Cinder 16 with no weapon. Not clickbait. And now I can say, and you can believe me when I say, dude, I don't know if I want to play Cinder 16 just because I think these difficulty... The, the, the last couple, some of the enchantments on the bosses just do not play well with them, and it makes them, like, feel designed mistakenly. It makes some of the attacks feel like mistakes. Because they're like, oh, that shouldn't be able to combine that way. And it it's not. But it's because you can't possibly test every possible combination with every possible attack. This attack into that attack with this modifier and that modifier. I don't know. I think that maybe bosses should only have one modifier on them. Like, here, here's my suggestions for Cinder. Like, I think that this twice enchanted is wacky in the sense that I wish that it was enchanted enemy packs can be enchanted with an additional modifier. Even if it means there's more enchanted packs in general, this also adds some variety, so it's not just always every enchanted room is an enchantment spam, right? That way it's like, you might have a whole bunch, even if it, like I said, I'm putting my hands in the air. If this is what you want to take take from me to, to make it happen, more enchanted rooms, but not every single one of them has to. It adds also some variety, because then you have some rooms that are not enchanted, some that are enchanted with one, and you're like, oh yeah, this is, you know, it's a little bit of something. And then some that are enchanted with two, where you're like, oh, this isn't this is an event. 
And by the same token, I feel like uh, Arch Nemesis should make it so bosses, mimics, and basilisks can be enchanted. So if you get hit with a double enchanted boss, it's like, it's an event, right? You're like, oh, shoot. You know, maybe even if it was just like a one in three chance, you're like, oh man, I was hoping we weren't going to get a double enchanted this boss. So not only does that make it a little bit less random BS go all the time, every, like pretty much every single room, it also makes the game feel less samey because when you throw so much random BS go all the time, it all just feels like a mess, like a visual mess. And it all feels like the same visual mess, even though it's not. So by separating it out and making it so it's a little bit more segmented, these things, you'd even be able to appreciate them more than normal. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy on that one. Uh, Centurion Hunter. I feel like it shouldn't be random due to the fact that... I Here's what I think it could be that would be even cooler. And this is a lot of this is a lot of work. What if the Centurion Hunter was a mini boss that always showed up on floor five out of ten? And you can make it go crazy in the sense that you could give him, you know, like unique effects based on the floor, and that's where it's like, you know, don't shoot me because this is overkill for work. But like, imagine if, you know, it's always the same room per floor. The Centurion Hunter on this floor will have, you know, these types of enemies with it. And you can be a little bit more intentional with it, because when you get Centurion Hunter showing up on, like, your second room, it's like, oh, come on. <laughs> and I think, like, that's the thing, is it, it, it's the same part as the, uh, the double enchantments and the enchantments on some bosses, where it's like, it creates some situations that don't feel like they were designed around, you know, being unhittable or, like, no-hittable. Not saying that they are or that we saw any today, but I have seen some situations from Centurion Hunter where it creates undodgeable scenarios because you can't account for every combination of Centurion Hunter, Room, and Enchantment modifier. But you could if you made it a, like a, a scripted room. It's always Room 5 and it has these possibilities. Then it would be a different story. Doom to Fail is just unfun and shouldn't exist. It doesn't. It's not a big deal. It doesn't make the run that much harder. It just makes it less fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, Conqueror's Will is sort of the same thing. It's just, it's just less fun. So, all in all, there's a couple that I don't mind as much, uh, but I think that these could be, these could be improved. These could be improved because they're far and away harder than the other stuff. Uh, but it's not for intentional reasons, I don't think. I don't think it's supposed to be intentional reasons, like it creates a situation where you cannot avoid taking damage. It shouldn't be on purpose. And I don't think it is. And I know there's going to be some fail states put in at some point, the dev said, so that like there's some boss attacks where um, there's no safeguards and that is going to be in included later. But anyways, end my cinder rant. But I think it's important to mention this right now on a run where I've proven, you know, there you go. I did it. I did it without a weapon. I know, yes, we were the monk, but... It's not that I can't do it. I just don't think it's as fun. It, it's a little, it's so messy. It's so messy. It doesn't feel as meticulously crafted as the game always does. It muddies what is so good about the game. And that is like these amazing enemy attack patterns. They're so well crafted. And then let's just throw a bunch of garbage on top of it. So you can't even appreciate it. It's kind of what it feels like. So that's, I think, why I'm going to be playing with a little bit less than that. But it's important to mention it now because I know the dev is going to be adding Cinder 20 in a, like, pretty soon update. And boy, if Cinder 16 feels this messy, what is Cinder 20 going to look like? I'm afraid. We'll see. It's my, it's my biggest critique of the entire game right now is that I think a couple of the modifiers make the game less fun. Uh, and yes, just play without it forehead. I'm aware. That's always the comments. But, you know, when people play a lot of a game, uh, when you play, you, you get to the point you play like 100 hours plus something of a game, people will think, I should be playing on the highest difficulty, 
and therefore that becomes your game and they might be playing one that makes them frustrated at your game dislike your game and they don't realize why and they don't realize like oh well i'm not gonna be playing on normal mode or easy mode when i can be playing on the highest difficulty because that's what i should be doing so i get it just don't use it i know i didn't just also worth mentioning areas of improvement while the game's in development alas alas rant over thank you for watching uh check out the channel roguelike some more every single day and i will see you next time bye